the living end are hitting the road for a massive 18-day national tour heading right across regional and metro Australia playing songs from their recent record shift. I caught up with frontman Chris Cheney to discuss the tour, what it might be like touring with the Bennies, and just exactly what they do on those big, long car trips. Looking forward to you guys getting up here and getting right across Australia, staring down the highway tour. It's like 18 dates long. Mate, how do you pass the time on the road? Do you and the band have car games? Is there a living end I spy grand champion in the car? Um, no, we don't do that. We've all got our own little sort of things that we do. Um, I'll give you a rundown. Scott normally likes to control the tune. He's normally in the, he's normally in the front with the, with the iPad, uh, sorry, the iPhone, plugged in in the auxiliary, playing it louder than anyone's ever played anything before. Um, and we normally just, argue about the volume. Uh, Andy will generally be sitting in the back with a Farmer's Union iced coffee and um, a, and probably a people mag <laughs> or a picture. And, um, and you know, yep. I'll just be uh, reading a book or something. Yeah, it's, 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 it's like doing a full circle for you guys, getting back in the Tarago and hitting the pavement. Scotty is a bit of a notoriously loose cannon. Is there pre-tour prep? Is it, is it the gym or the pubs? And do you guys have to pace yourself on this long tour? Well, we, we sort of, yeah, he's a bit of a loose cannon. Um, but I try and run every day, basically, because I just, you know, I need the cardio for being on stage. Because that, that, there's just no ballads in our set. <laughs> it's just full, it's, you know, it's full throttle the whole time. So I've, I've kind of got to, you know, make sure I'm match fit. But at the same time, I'm, you know, I, I'll go for a run and then I, then I go and treat myself for five beers at the pub. You know, it's kind of contradictory. We, we do look after ourselves moderately. Well, life is about moderation and, and balance and that type of stuff. Uh, speaking of which, the set list, Shift was a fantastic record, man. One of my faves in quite a while. Is much of the record getting a run on tour, many of the album tracks? We want to, yeah. I mean, we feel like we've only done a Capital City tour when that record came out. So this is kind of um, the next the next step, you know, where we actually can can, can go out and, and play songs off that record again because we haven't been doing that many shows. Even from just the Capital City tour that we did and the songs that we've played off this record, they stand up so well in relation to our older tracks. And I know it's difficult because the older tracks are the ones that have all the airplay and, you know, the kind of classic songs that people want to hear at a gig. So we're not going to bore them with the whole record, but we're definitely going to play a chunk of it. You know, we're so proud of this album and it, it kicks ass in a live setting. It does kick ass. We featured here at Rebel FM and still loving all the tracks on it. Make sure you grab a copy. Shift is out now. The guy's hitting the road for a massive tour. All the details at livingend.com, hitting Racehorse Hotel, Night Quarter, the Northern, the Tanks Arts Centre, Dale Rimpool, Magnums, you're heading absolutely bloody everywhere, uh, taking the Bennies on the ride with you as well. Massive fans of the old 420, the Bennies. Will you guys be daring to share a car with those dutchy, hotboxing lunatics? <laughs> I don't really know those guys, but yeah, I've heard the stories. They've got <laughs> quite a reputation, which could be a blast or could be a disaster. So, um, you know, I'm going to say you only live once, so... Bring it on. Excellent. Get in the car. Hopefully we see some awesome Instagram or Snapchat or Twitter posts or something coming out of that car. Uh, been a huge week for you, mate. You, you're in the lead part of St. Jimmy in the Green Day musical American Idiot. Now, we all know you can sing, you can play guitar, but is but there... Can I act? Well, can you <laughs> act? And is there dancing involved? Can you cut a rug, mate? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Come on, how dare you? Well, I can how throw dare down, you he says. That. Well, you know, I don't think it's going to be too much dancing. I don't think Patrick Swayze's got anything to worry about, <laughs> even though he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Pat. You know, it's not a it's not a major role. I mean, I mean, it, it's a it's a big role for sure. But he but he's up, he's not in the play like from start to finish. So there's not a great deal of like acting or or dancing and stuff involved. But um. We'll, we're yet to see. I've signed on for it, and I'm really excited because I love any kind of musical theatre. I kind of grew up loving the Rocky Horror Show and Jesus Christ Superstar and all that stuff, all that full theatrical kind of stuff. So, um, yeah, I kind of left at the opportunity. It was amazing to be asked to do it. Excellent. Well, I can't wait to see you guys. February 23, qpac.com.au for more details on that one. You and Phil Jamison at the theatre yeah. sounds like the start of a behind-the-music special. Do, do the theatre folk truly understand what's in store for them having 
you and Phil just cruising around the country? Well, the thing is, we've already done the White Album tour twice together, which is where we played the Beatles White Album. And that was um, Phil, myself, Tim Rogers and Josh Pike. We've done that twice now. And that was a bit like that when we first went in. It was kind of like we we sort of all came from the rock and roll scene. All of a sudden, we're in the theatre with, like, people sitting down in seats. and uh, But it was actually quite good because, um, you know, Tim and Phil especially can be quite abrasive in, <laughs> in their own way at times. And it really kind of shook it up. Um, and it was, I, I thought it was a great kind of, it was a great match. Would have loved to have been a fly on the wall seeing uh, Tim Rogers in the theatre, that's for sure. Uh, mate, going to wrap this up real soon. You guys heading to Night Quarter Racehorse Hotel, the Northern Tanks Art, all across Queensland. Get the details at livingend.com. Quickly before we let you go, mate, what's the most important rider request when you go on these long tours? Is it fresh fruit and carbs and vegetables or is it just socks? Uh, no, it's me, baby, pretty much. <laughs> but we take care of the sort of fruit and veggies ourselves and the socks, but the number one prerequisite for our gig is, is um, just an esky full of cold VVs. Excellent, mate. Well, make sure you guys stay hydrated. It's a long tour. Thanks for dropping into the show, mate. We'll see you real soon. No worries. Thanks.